Hey guys, everyone. Uh, this is James Kim from uh, Biome Detox Secrets. I hope you guys are doing really fabulous. And as you know, now this is time for you to get this awesome lecture by Daniel Rupoli. Um, so without further ado, I can just start right now with the introduction of her. So Daniel Rupoli is a nutritionist and also women's health experts. And she will give us a talk today so that um, we can talk about how you can, um, as a woman, to tackle your PMS mood symptoms. So get ready and buckle up because it's going to be a really awesome uh, lecture. So welcome, Penny. Yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. And last again, I hope everybody's OK. So do you feel moody or overwhelmed, even angry and irritable before or on your period? Do you ever get the question, are you on your period again? Because while well, I absolutely did in the past and I hated it so much. For a long time, I thought it just, that's it. I just had to deal with it and some problems are not fixable, right? But it turns out that's not the case at all. And today I'm going to give you some of my tips on how to tackle your mood issues. So one thing to consider is the imbalances and changes in hormone levels like estrogen and progesterone, which can have an effect on your serotonin levels. And serotonin is a neurotransmitter and it's important for mood, sleep and appetite regulation. So low levels can lead to sleep issues, low mood, irritability, food cravings, which are all pretty common in PMS. And PMS mood symptoms can also be due to altered sensitivity of the GABA receptors, aka gamma aminobutyric acid, which is a calming neurotransmitter. And this sensitivity for the GABA to allopregnanolone which is a progesterone metabolite. Also, one more thing to consider is high histamine levels. And now let's have a look at some of my tips. So first of all, balance your blood sugar. Ditch processed and sugary foods and swap to healthier snacks. I know sometimes the idea of a comforting bar of chocolate or some greasy comfort food sounds like that what you exactly need to cope but trust me you are better off without them and blood sugar fluctuations can lead to irritability cravings and mood issues and the other one is up your magnesium it is shown that magnesium has a beneficial effect on your nervous system and it is also a muscle relaxant so it can be really helpful if you suffer from painful periods as it helps to relax your uterine muscles. Magnesium also enhances the GABA activity and regulates your stress response. And some food sources of magnesium, nuts and seeds, like pumpkin, almonds, walnuts, cashews, your leafy greens, beans and lentils. And for an extra boost, take an Epsom salt bath, which is basically a magnesium salt and you can do a bath or if you just have a shower just do a food bath with some lavender oil and it's super relaxing and it's a nice treat at the end of the day um vitamin b6 um b6 is needed to create neurotransmitters such as gaba serotonin and dopamine which are all important for mood and emotions it also lowers histamine levels and participates in estrogen metabolism. Some food sources, turkey, chicken, eggs, salmon, tuna, bananas, carrots, spinach, and some of the legumes just like lentils, chickpeas, and even sweet potatoes. And have you heard of ashwagandha? So ashwagandha is an adaptogen 
It helps to adapt to stressful situations and stress can increase PMS symptoms. It may also be beneficial for anxiety and depression. It has mild hormone balancing effects and it also lowers cortisol production, which is the stress hormone resulting in improved energy and mood. Ashwagandha can also be beneficial for women in menopause. It may have beneficial effects on your mood swings, your hot flushes, sleep disturbance, and sexual issues due to its effect on hormone balance, circulation, and stress. And increase your omega-3 intake. Omega-3 has many health benefits. It may decrease mood swings, has beneficial effects on anxiety and depression, as well as it's an amazing anti-inflammatory and mood issues can be linked to inflammation in your body. It is also great for your skin. So some of the food sources, it's oily fish, salmon, mackerel, anchovies, sardines, herring, nuts and seeds, like flax seeds, chia seeds, walnuts, seaweed and algae. And it's also important to feed the good gut bacteria. Good gut microflora is essential to get extra used estrogen out of your body. Gut bacteria also produces a large sum of your serotonin, which influences our mood, as we discussed before. So eat the rainbow on the vegetables and fruits. Um, reducing or stopping coffee and alcohol for about two weeks before your period may be helpful to decrease anxiety levels, irritability and sleep problems. And lastly, relax. Me time is very important for health, hormones and mood balance. Go for a walk in nature or do some stretching or yoga, whatever suits you. Take an Epsom salt bath before bed and get a chamomile tea. It's also really relaxing. Get cozy and read some pages of your book or download a great meditation application on your phone. Just try to switch off the busy mind. It will help to relax for your body and get into that nice state. So I hope these little nuggets were helpful. That's obviously just some of the things you can do, but that's obviously, it's very nice just to get start with these wee tips. All right, uh, thank you for your little, uh, little nuggets. Actually, there, there were a lot of nuggets that you did. <laughs> yes. So that's really nice. Um, yeah, so, I was, just, um, I was just curious, so can you tell me more about your meet time on like how does actually drinking a tea or type of tea, especially chamomile, how does it like, how does it actually help you like soothing effects or? Yeah, it's also relaxing, Same like uh, what I mentioned, ashwagandha or rhodiola or ginseng or even like paka does nice the nighttime teas, which you can just take after your dinner. And it's like lavender as well. There's a lot of different teas. Just find the one you like and just have a wake up before you go to bed or after dinner. And they have quite nice and relaxing effect on your mind because of work on the nervous system. OK, so so. For you to have that, you know, best uh, relaxation and, and awesome me time, like, do you do you take do you, do you drink uh, the chamomile uh, tea like every day or? Yeah, my favorite is actually not chamomile, but I do have like a mixture, which I purchased from Paco, and it's called I think Mind Time or something like that. And it has a mixture of herbs. It does have chamomile, but. It does have also loads of other herbs, or as I say, sometimes I have uh, fragante tea or rhodiola, whatever I have at home at the time. <laughs> and I just have it after my dinner, with the preparation for going to shower and go to bed. And I do my Epsom salt food baths twice a week, 
just while watching even TV after dinner, if that's your thing. Just a 20 minute food bath, really nice and relaxing. Okay, that sounds that sounds very relaxing. I mean, I didn't even like, you know, do, do, do any of those, but then now I'm, I'm relaxed. Oh, so. you should try. <laughs> okay, so yes, actually, um, so I actually want to, you know, um, add some of the comments on, on your recommendation. So for me, actually, I'm a very uh, big fan of Omega-3. Yeah. So I actually rec uh, I actually suggested and mentioned this uh, on the on my previous Q uh, Q&A session. So the reason that I actually recommend uh, women to who has PMS is that it can actually uh, balance and uh, your gut flora, and at the same time, it actually regulates the the uh, the pH condition in your like the the, the vaginal area. So I think it really does a lot of things. And on top of that, it's a, a very well-known source of uh, anti-inflammatory source. So yes, I mean, if you can take the really good source of um, uh, omega-3, it'll be really nice. But then uh, I also um, want people to take a really good look at you know how the omega-3 is manufactured, because I mean you have actually also mentioned that really good source of good sources of plants and also like animal sources, but yeah. For me, uh, I'm a go like go go guy on the the animal source, um, especially like fish oil. Um, the reason is that I think that it contains like lots of uh, and good uh, source of omega three. But however, like how it is manufactured and uh, is very important because omega three is very vulnerable to oxygen and also like temperature. So if the manufacturer does not really go through that really good um, uh, good manufacturing practices, then you know it, it's not really good for your health. It, it's pretty much you're taking a fish oil for a not good uh, reason, and you're actually taking a uh, oil that's it's already rotten because um, yeah. So you need to take care of how how you need to take a really good look at how it is uh, manufactured. Yeah. Um, so what else? Oh, um, okay. uh, I'm sorry. Yes, yes. And also vitamin C, I think, oh man, I, I cannot uh, give like good, um, I cannot like say enough about the very good uh, things about vitamin C is that like they have a, they are one of the very well known sources of anti inflammatory source. And also they have a really good pro uh, vascular effects to your body, which PMS is one of the vascular effects also, right? And oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> yes, yes, and also because I know that I uh, the the vaginal area has that the certain acidity levels. I think it is yeah. like a little bit about in, in between five to six, I believe. So, so in order for you to keep that acidity, um, you need to take uh, take ascorbic acid, and what that does does is that it, it actually keeps your vaginal area of acidity. So. Kind of helps you with that also. So yes. Also, also yeah. bacteria like some of the lactobacilli strains are good for that. They produce that level of acidity in your vagina, what is needed. So yes. you can do something there too. Yes. Uh, I'm not a woman, but I I do love taking vitamin C. So yes, I uh, hope this kind of will uh, benefit a lot of people. Who are actually uh, uh, watching this? So we are, we are. I mean, we see that we have three people who are watching this. Can you guys kind of tell us, hey, where are you guys from? Can you guys tell us what city you guys are watching this from? You you don't have to be shy. I mean, I'm not gonna bite bite you or anything. Benny will not bite you, or maybe she will. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not today. <laughs> okay. That's good. Yeah. I, I would recommend her to take the chamomile tea so that she can behave. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So do, if, if any of you who are watching this, uh, if you have any questions, type it right now so that, you know, Ben will probably will be, um, Ken um, will answer to you, to your questions. Um, okay. So it seems like, uh, 
not yet, but if you are thinking of anything that you want to talk about and want to, uh, you know, ask questions, then your call is there. Um, you can uh, contact me directly. Also, you can contact Benny. She is also available in our Facebook group so that if you want to tackle your PMS uh, problems or any any other like women's pro uh, health conditions, she's, she is right there with you. So thank you for your time. And uh, thank you, thank you, Benny, for your awesome lecture, as always. Thank you, guys. Yes. yes, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah.